the thing is working. We don't have no potato vision this week. It's 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 functional. It's not pretty. I'll get it pretty eventually, but so it's and I say I, I want to point this out. I'm saying all this just as we're going to probably the most important bit of the show because this has to go on YouTube and money for it and whatnot. So um expect an explosion. Awfully optimistic. Right. Expect an explosion somewhere halfway through doing all this. Yeah, okay. like you're really tempting fate here. Everything's working great. I am speaking of temptation, do you know that thing on YouTube that people do? Nine pages. Where they'll put up a thumbnail and there's circles and arrows and big words and it's like it's 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 it's, it's like, like ADHD in an image. Yeah. Um yeah. I, I never do that because I it's clickbaity. But I'm tempted to this week on the last story just because it's horrific. Could we make wacky faces now so you have that screen cap? Uh, that's not the face you want to make. Uh. Oh. So I, I it's it's not a big thing. It's just it, it's 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 not the breadth. It's the depth. I should say. Yeah, there we go. That 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 should be. Ninth. But we have so much this week, too. And I suppose we should get to it. <clears throat> Intro go. Each week. Worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff right back here for the segment. We like to call. What the fuck's wrong? We're starting crazy. at Walmart this week. In Tennessee. I'm crazy. And it is one of the easiest things to get out of if you're if we're talking about if you're in trouble is shoplifting because they're not supposed to be they don't stop you. Yeah, because we we in retail don't want to discourage customers who steal from us. So if you get caught. Like the share zone says, just get the fuck out of there. Yeah. And you're probably, you know, it's not, a, it's, it's not good that you're doing it, but it's the easiest escape, right? So why the fuck did this happen? Chaos erupts as Walmart customers toss cookies, literally, not figuratively. Um, I was going to say, I see what you did there. Toss cookies and break wine bottles. Two Walmart customers ended up arrested after they resorted to tossing wine bottles and throwing Halloween cookies at store staff and police. Best scare say the chaos erupted when Walmart employees tried questioning the woman about shoplifting nearly $700 in merchandise on Monday, October 10th. Now, that might sound impressive, but it depends on what they shoplifted. Like, if they shoplifted, like, a whole cart of fucking clothes is one thing. But if they're like, you know, I know... No, they managed to shove like a, a Chromebook down their pants or something. That's well, not even a Chromebook. Yeah, but wouldn't they say like a seven hundred dollar Chromebook instead of seven hundred dollars in merchandise? That's true. Like that's, that's true. Sounds like several things. Um, the suspects who are age 18, 17 and eighteen responded to the shoplifting accusation by quote breaking bottles of wine and throwing packages of Halloween cookies at lost presentation workers. You could. Have just been like, bye. You did. Also, one of you's a minor. What? Yeah, that's true. Like they're not even going to come down too hard on you. You're a fucking right. minor. What? What you're gonna? You, you just say, hey, did you steal that? Bye. And it's not like you're under arrest. You don't have the right to remain silent. You could just fucking go. Like if you're still in the store, you haven't stolen anything yet. Even if it's concealed on your person. If you are still in the store, you haven't stolen it yet. So if they catch you with it, all you have to do is leave. Leave. Because you have not yet committed a crime. But instead, you decided, oh shit. War it is! Choose violence! The shoplifters yeah. also approached the Freesboro Police Department officers yelling, screaming, and resisting arrest because they love it when you do that. Listen, y'all aren't going to like me saying this, but it doesn't really say much about these kids, but 
I feel like being as this was Tennessee, these kids are definitely white acting like this toward the cops. Maybe. Maybe. They they weren't raised right, as my mom yeah. used to say. But I feel like in Tennessee, mm-hmm. black kids aren't trying to die for some shit at Walmart. Yeah, oh yeah, you got a point there. Because just re- I, I, well, whatever the fuck you stole at Walmart, is it really worth somebody deciding it's time to, to you know, take a few days unpaid leave? Yeah. 17 year old was arrested and taken to the Rutherford County Juvenile Detention Center. She was charged with resisting arrest and theft. Um, and she was released to her parents. Yeah, if you're a minor and you do this shit. Exactly. Like, not much is going to happen to you unless you're a black kid, in which case they might just murder you, yeah. which is why I say I'm pretty confident these kids are white. They're, I could be proven wrong. They're accused of concealing approximately $670 worth of clothing and other items. Before, concealing? 600 Where? Right? Were you doing layers? Was that what was going on? I'm picturing Joey in that episode of Friends where he puts on all of Chandler's clothes at once. Because <laughs> I don't think there's any clothes at Walmart that I don't think there are any single garments that are more than $50. Unless it's like a winter coat, maybe. Where the fuck were you concealing all of that? Well, we got, uh, we're moving on to New York for this one. Syracuse. Have you ever been in a situation where you try to get people to leave? The party's over. It's time to go. You'd like to sleep. This is probably the worst tactic to dealing with that situation. Syracuse man charged with arson after setting shower curtain on fire to get visitors to leave. Are you setting your own home on fire? Yes. Syracuse man was charged with arson after police said he'd get, he got his shower curtain. He set his shower curtain on fire in his apartment to try to get visitors to leave on Friday. 1221 AM Daniel Hart 39 wanted the people inside of his apartment to leave his bathroom set the shower curtain on fire with a lighter curtain fell on the floor where it was burned until police officers arrived and stomped it out uh the floor the door frame was burned by setting the fire <clears throat> hard endangered the people in his apartment and other people living in the building county records show 13 units in the building charge second degree os arson a felony uh is being held on bail at uh onondaga county just did you Try anything else, right? Did you try passive aggressively being like, Whoo, I'm tired? Did you try playing Nickelback really loud? What are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language? Yes, yeah. Did you try saying, Hey, I'd like to go to bed, y'all need to go home? Fuck off. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Did you try off. anything else before setting fire to your own home? Well, and that's that's the key about it. If you're renting, it's not technically yours. You do have a number of rights, supposed to be. Um in either way. About being your living space. But at the end of the day, you don't own it. And it's connected to a bunch of other living spaces. Yeah. If but you, either way, it's just so fucking counterintuitive. Yeah. Like, do you want to have the smell of burning shower curtain every time you try and take a poop? That's going to be horrible. Also, like, if your goal was to get people out of your apartment, starting a fire so that the fire department would have to come into your apartment is not going to do what you want. Yeah, you're going to have more of them. Yeah, you're going to, it's just going to, it's just going to snowball. The fire department's going to come there. And then there's going to be the police and then there's the, the, the apartment management and it's, it's going to be a whole thing. You're making it a thing. Why are you making yeah, it a I'm thing? I'm in a situation and I don't love conflict. So I have put up with people for hours longer than I wanted them in my home. And I have learned to just break down and be like, Hey, I think I'm tapped out. 
I'll tell you, you know, the, the easiest way to get people to, to fuck off. Hey, you want to see my YouTube channel? <laughs> no, let's just watch this. This is a really funny one. I did a really funny one here. Just watch this. Just watch that. They, they fuck right off. Sometimes Simba will like bite them and that takes care of it. He's a good cat. But, but yeah, I know it never occurred to me to set fire to my own shit. But yeah, once you are burning, just so you, if in case y'all didn't understand the laws, if you're burning something like this, doesn't belong to you, other people are housed in it, you're in fucking trouble. That you, you're not allowed to do that. You could have killed many people. Like, oh, I'm just setting the shower curtain on fire. It'll be fine. Fire has this way of saying, I'm going to do what I want. Yeah. Get some counter. And you know what the frames of most houses are made of? Wood. Wood? I, I want to say plastic? No. Wood. Very flammable. You want to know what the really scary thing this week is? I'm looking at the stories. We don't have a single Florida story. Oh God! I don't know. I'm 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 wor I'm scared too. That's got to be some kind of sign of the apocalypse, hasn't it? Got more Tennessee this week. Um. So we have a department here on on what the fuck is wrong with you of compounding the error uh, when when you just you, you it's dig up stupid when you're already in legal trouble and you need money to deal. With the legal troubles, do you sell some stuff? Do you attempt to find some way to get a loan from friends, family, a GoFundMe, part-time job? Everyone is fucking hiring right now, even if it might not like the work. Or do you deal with your need to pay off your crimes? More crimes. Man, it cuts I mean, off. Depends. Are you a former president of the United States? Oh. Yeah, fucking Jimmy Carter. He's the worst. Oh. <laughs> man. It's, it's a one man cartel, that Jimmy Carter. Man cuts off multiple catalytic converters with power saw to help pay for his warrants. Man was arrested for stealing multiple catalytic converters. October 16th manager of LKQ on Hickory Hill Road saw two men drive into the lot in a dark colored Honda Civic, get out, and begin cutting catalytic converters off company trucks. So, really, don't give a fuck. That's one thing. Yeah, you weren't <clears throat> subtle. Memphis police arrived and saw one of the men, Trevor Coop, walking away from a company truck while holding a power saw. And told Coop to stop. The man dropped the saw. And began to run on foot. Police were able to arrest Coop after a uh, brief ch uh, foot chase. During a search, officers found seven catalytic converters in the Honda. They found other converters in several other vehicles. Coop told uh, Maryland, Memphis Police Department that he and his friends cut off the converters, had plans to selling them afterwards. Additionally, the money raised the converters was going to be used to pay for Coop's active warrants. Well. You uh, kind of, well. You got a couple more active warrants now. Yeah. Uh, Flutter, there can't be that much gold. There's not gold in catalytic converters. There's platinum in catalytic converters. That's why oh. everybody steals them. It's oh. a lot more expensive. It's not a, it's a, tra it's not a huge amount, but it's enough that just the stuff in a catalytic converter is worth a lot of money. Is platinum's worth it's not easy to come by that's why everybody steals the damn thing i did not know that did you see the last line of the story the honda civic has also been stolen since september 7th. <laughs> so you you're in some legal trouble you got some warrants <gasps> so you decide to go out in a stolen ass car <laughs> <laughs> and just drive onto a lot full of trucks with a loud ass power saw. 
and start hacking up cars. Got a real Lex Luthor going on plan. here. I don't, I don't, I don't understand how you're not a criminal mastermind. <clears throat> like you ever watch those uh, those heist movies, like Ocean's Eleven and shit, and it gets to the end, and there's the the how it all happened. Yeah. Like yes, yeah, it's, it's, I don't think he gets one of those. I don't, I don't think there's a real uh, question here. I don't know. That'd be a pretty hilarious montage, though. It'd be like a short one. It'd be like five, five freaking seconds. Oh. Like, picture the montage from the movie of like him explaining the genius plan to his cohorts, <laughs> and it's this plan. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of makes me want want like the anti. Ocean's Eleven to be a movie. Like if Ocean's Eleven were planned entirely by morons. Shit, that's gold. You could pitch that. <laughs> oh, what is next? Oh boy. Okay. Here's a fun thing you may or may not know. Um DUI does not simply count. It does not just apply to uh motor vehicles. Yeah, there's a there's a no, wide learn that on this show. There's a wide variety of things it applies to, including horses. Person including what? Person riding a horse through traffic and refusing to pull over for police was arrested on suspicion of driving under influence. Strange chase was described by the Whittier Police Department on social media. Please say the horseback rider was quote galloping through traffic and refused to pull the horse over or horse the behavior of the rider led the police to engage in an unusual pursuit <laughs> can you imagine you're sitting in traffic it's 5 30 you just want to get home you hear the sirens you turn to look and there's the clippity cloppity the horses come by and then woo 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 Have you ever actually come upon a horse like in the road? Yes, I'm in the south, Tara. Oh, okay. Because I have, and it weirded me the fuck out. Like the part of New Jersey I lived in was largely farm farms, and like I was driving down this road, and there's someone on, a, and I'm like, I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> like, can I legally pass the horse? I have no idea. No, I've I've what been. The rules are. We're, where I'm in Charleston is a very urban area. And even still, downtown, we have a lot of horse carriages and stuff. It's, it's like a big thing with tourists here. And then you get outside of the urban area, which is not very far. You can like, like drive 30 minutes in any direction except toward the water. You'll find rural stuff out here. And uh, the, you'll find horses just up and down the highways. Yeah, people do it. Yeah, I didn't know what the rules were. Well, part of the rules. So is I ended up doing like 15 miles an hour behind this horse for a few minutes because I was like, I don't know if I can legally pass off. Part of the rules I'm is spook it. Part of the rules is you don't do it while you're drunk. Is part of the rules. Yeah. See, why it I'm sure counts, the horse doesn't appreciate that either. Why DWI counts at, for a horse is because you are intoxicated and you are in command of a large and potentially dangerous animal. Which it, their horses are very heavy things, and they can do a lot of damage. And especially you could, and you could hurt the horse. And you're every time I'm actually up close to a horse, I'm in awe of how big they actually are because I forget that they're fucking huge. Oh yes, was the horse? The horse was not drunk. No, thank God. Horse probably wished he was drunk. I was just who. Trunk drives a horse. Fuck your DUI. I have a horse outside. <laughs> Wait, what is he going to argue? No, the horse is driving. I, was, I mean, I was not as driving as the horse is driving. I mean, is that a bad argument? Well, not when you were the dumb fuck who decided to get on the horse drunk. I'm pretty sure the horse is not going on. Oh, damn it, Dave. Well, Again, it is a sentient creature that could toss you. Let's get your ass home. Are you taking aspirin yet? You need to drink some fucking water, Dave. God damn it. Why do you keep doing this shit? Every fucking time. Yeah. Might be a valid argument, though. 
Dave, no, we're not taking the fucking highway. Dave, I don't want to take the fucking highway. It's not a good idea. Dave, you had a whole bottle of Jaeger. Knock it the fuck off, Dave. Jesus Christ. Poor horse. All right. The next, next one is points for creativity. But this isn't as simple. People see certain things and think it's just simple. You just do it and A leads to B. And it's not. For example, explosives. ATM blown up. Would-be thieves attempt to blow up ATM in Palmdale, but fail to get any cash. We've got pictures of it down there. So didn't they do a whole episode of Breaking Bad about this? That They didn't use explosives. They just used a whole bunch of power tools on it. Which also does not work. But uh, we, got, we got the picture there. This is explodey. This, this is kaboom. They blew the back off of it. See, here's the thing. Explosive. They probably could have gotten the money out, but they have to put it in the right place. Explosives, think of it as a punch. If you punch someone in the butt, they're not going to die. You're not even going to knock them out. You're just going to be like, hey, man, you punched me in the butt. What the fuck? If you punch someone in the nose, you have a very different effect on that person. There is blood, there is pain, maybe unconsciousness, depending on how hard you hit them. That's how well, it's... depending on the angle, you could kill them that way. Explosive. Dan was quite fond of instructing me on how to drive someone's nose into their brain in case I ever needed that information. And I was like, why would I need that information? Explosives are a lot like. Um, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department said bomb techs I responded to the 5000 block of West Avenue North in Palmdale. I discovered a Bank of America machine had been blown apart by an explosive device with pieces and debris scattered about the area. None of the cash inside the machine was accessed. All of that outside stuff is just cosmetic. It's just, it's, it's, it's plastic and it's a little, probably maybe a little bit of drywall or some shit. Inside, there is a fucking safe. Mm-hmm. You can't just be like, well, I'm just going to put, it'll blow open. I put the whole, that's how this work, right? You, just, you put the dynamite and boom, and it works. Boom goes the dynamite. Yeah, it does, but it doesn't always do something. You see, you, even with a tiny, relatively tiny amount of explosive, it's all in where you place it. If you have no fucking idea what you're doing, all you're probably going to do is just make a mess. So you're saying it's not the size. It's how you use it. Quite literally, yes. Especially in this instance, because if you use too much, there goes the money. Yeah. There is no more money. It is pieces of money. It is X money. That would be sad. You're going to be sitting there in the parking lot. You access the safe. Boo, you burned the money. Like, you could be out there in the parking lot. We could duct tape this back together, right? We just, we just. You know, some rubber cement. They'll take it, right? That'll be. It'll work. That'll be fine. <sighs> the, it, it's it's just the simplistic. Appreciate you being like we're gonna use explosives, but you're a simplistic motherfucker because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, I wouldn't know where in an ATM to put a bomb for efficacy. I wouldn't either. All I know is I do know I've, I've actually worked on them. not the inside parts of them, but the computer parts of them. There are a lot of an ATM is just shell. Yeah. It, and, and in fact, a lot of the insides are kind of generic because they're made to fit in a whole bunch of different kinds of, you know, so it's, they make a space where the thing can fit and then they make the outside of it look neat. It's, it's like, Oh, there's a bank thingy. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even know where the fuck to blow the all you, because I'm not an explosive expert. You don't just this is why this is why when, when when they try to blow safes open and shit, normally people tend to be very good at that, for one. And number two, they don't get caught because, you know, they, they, they go for certain scores where they can maximize the money and not just try to knock over an ATM with 
fucking shit you made in your goddamn garage. <laughs> What's with all this green confetti? Yeah, Cracebers, right? On the other hand, it's Bank of America, so fuck them. Yeah. Number one, nobody lost any of their money. And number two, except Bank of America will have to fix the damn thing, so fuck them. Yeah. All right, we're at the last one. Um, I want everybody to take a deep breath. Be ready. Because... Oh, dear God. We, we, fuck me. This, like I said, this is not a huge thing. This is not a world-shattering thing, but it's something you don't want to know happened. Jury convicts man for vile act with Elmo doll. October 12th. A jury yesterday convicted a Michigan man of aggravated indecent exposure for using a Tickle Me Elmo doll to masturbate while he was inspecting a residence on behalf of a potential purchaser. And Ben Lovin, 60 was found guilty of the misdemeanor following a one-day trial in Oakland County Circuit Court. The uh, jury acquitted Van Lovin. Did they really have to name his, really have to be Van Lovin? That's just it's, it's killing me here. Of malicious destruction of property, also misdemeanor. Van Lovin, who works as a home inspector, was arrested last year after the owners of a suburban Detroit home contacted cops to report that a nanny cam reported Van Lovin pleasuring himself inside the residence. So you are, you have this guy over. He's supposed to be there to help you sell your house. He's going to look over the promise, prem, premises and you're like, hey, I'm going to check in on him. So you turn on the nanny cam. You hear, e hee hee, e hee hee, that tickles. E hee hee, e hee hee, that tickles. Oh gosh. No. Oh, I'm a happy hippo. <laughs> no. 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 Tara. Tara. No. No. You hear something like that? I. <sighs> Pulling a little bit out. In your in the fucking kid's closet with his I tickle. Know how one uses a tickle me Elmo? Well, to mask. Funny you should ask. Oh, is it going to tell us? At a court hearing last year, Dodson testified. Uh, she saw Van Lovett remove a tickle me Elmo doll that had been among stuffed animals stored in a small teepee tent inside the bedroom of Dodson's two-year-old son. And Lovin then allegedly unzipped his pants, began masturbating in the son's closet. Um, Van Lovin admitted to placing his penis in Elmo's mouth. You faced fuck the tickle me Elmo. All right, but but stay with me here. Like we all know what Elmo looks like, right? Yeah. What's that gonna do for you? His mouth is a clamshell. With fur. You are a 60 year old man in a two year old's bedroom who's not related to you, which, you know, not that it makes it any better, but still, you're in a stranger's house and your face fucking a tickle me elmo. And what's more, your name, thanks to the internet, Whenever anyone Googles Kevin McLovin. It's Van Lovin. Van, well, yeah, Van Lovin. I'm uh, not McLovin. Van Lovin. You're right. Kevin Van you know Lovin. I was really hoping this guy's name would be Rocco. Oh, come on. Weren't you? Were you really hoping his name would be Rocco? 
just is just you fucking creepy ass mother. How do you get there and these decisions come together in you? You can How do you get to this point in your life. You could buy yourself a tickle me Elmo and you could do whatever you want to it in the comfort of your own home. And that is not if a crime. Like, if that's like what you're into, yeah, it's not a crime. You, you could also buy many things made specifically right. for that purpose. But it's it's not a crime. No one else is hurt by it. It's all no one else has to fucking know about it. It's just they you can that's why you have your own place. You don't you don't it's a two year old's bedroom, man. Come on. What the fuck smacked snapped in your brain is just like, oh I gotta give me some of that. Yeah, like as much as we're joking about it, like We've all had people come in to work on things in our home. Oh, I hate when I hate doing it. I hate it. I hate it so much. We had a contractor in here take care of our floors a while back. And it's a perfectly nice guy. Nice guy. I hated just the fact of having somebody. Well, you never know. They we, might seem like a perfectly nice guy. Ted Bundy seemed like a perfectly nice guy. Had the, had cable guy in here a number of times. And they seem like nice people, but just in my fucking house. But like you don't know. What weird shit they might be doing in your home, especially I, I and I, I, it's probably an unfair kind of indictment of them. But the Orkin guy, my our, our pest control guy, I'm like, they're probably perfectly nice, but they're also you work with poison all day. <laughs> I mean, that was a choice you made, right? I, I just, but that's the scary part, like. Of stories like this, like we joke about it oh, because it's a tickle me Elmo doll, but like you let someone in your house, you don't know. Ninety percent chance they're gonna be fine, but that ten percent. Do do you ask the tickle me Elmo to show you where on the doll? He I think he just looks for which part is sticky because it's covered in fur. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty obvious. Jesus Christ. Don't, why don't touch your face fucking Elmo, man? You're, now, I know Elmo was, you're 60. El, obviously, Elmo wasn't the one you grew up with on Sesame Street, but come no. on. People have problems with Elmo, but uh, it's a bit much, right? I mean, his voice is a little annoying, <laughs> but I'm not three. It's not for me. Just, just, this, this, and the, 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 just the, the. I'm still the working on the shot. logistics because I don't understand how that would be remotely fun. <laughs> I'm really, still messed up by that. What I'm thinking, and I'm being real generous here because I'm trying not to be too, trying to be creative about this in my own brain. I don't want to dwell on it, but what I'm thinking here was he got Elmo to shaken and just kind of held on for the ride. Yeah, but like, were we front loaded or like <laughs> harmonica style? <laughs> I'm like, that's going to chafe because <laughs> it's felt in fur. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very confused on the logistics of this. Just the 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 mugshot just kind of says. Also, I hope yep. this man's on a registry forever. Just it's just that that is that that's the look on his face. He's like, you may be wondering how I got here. Like your whole job is to go into people's homes. <laughs> this is why I have to learn how to snake a drain. <laughs> You don't want someone to come don't in. You fucking trust people. You don't want someone coming in to molest your Funko Pops. No. Or my happy hippo, who has a similar mouth to Elmo. And we, will encourage you. What did we learn this week? We learned that, uh, well, nanny cams actually can come in handy, can't they? And uh, also, 
you, you could it's it's perfect you want to do weird shit as long as nobody's being hurt everybody's consenting do it at home hey like i'm not here to kink shame you dude if you want to face fuck elmo live your best life just get your own elmo right not the two-year-old not just oh my it's a fucking two oh the poor kid elmo in your own house oh we've learned that you can do a lot of things with explosives but you have to know where to put it kind of like elmo Location, location, location. Okay, we've learned that uh, you you can be get a DUI if you're drunk on a horse. You can't put it all on the horse, man. You, 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 at some point, you have to take some responsibility. Uh, we've learned maybe if you are already in trouble and you need money because you've done crimes don't do more crimes for money it's what we call a vicious cycle or you know be subtle mm -hmm. i mean look just, into stealth just lugging around a power saw in a parking lot hey how you doing shitter's full inconspicuous right We've learned if you try to burn down your house to get rid of people, you have confrontation issues you need to discuss. You may, might need to work. Finally, well, first, we learned that uh, you can, instead of getting into an altercation with the poor fucking retail workers who have to deal with your extra ass, just leave. Yeah, just take the L. Just go, just go go down to the Dollar General, go to the Target, pick a new spot. Maybe you'll try your luck. It's like, this is part of retail workers training. Like, if the item hasn't left the store, it's they have not stolen it yet. Yep. Loss prevention can make them put it back, but that's about it. Yep. Because they haven't committed any crime yet. As long as the merchandise is in the store, it's not stolen. Even if you shoved it up your ass. All they can do is make you take it out of your ass and give it back. Please tell me you're not speaking from experience. Uh, not specifically ass experience, but... I had a lot of moms who would like give merchandise to their baby to chew on while they were in the store because they forgot the teething ring and then would just hand me the drool silk merchandise. And I had to just let that go because they hadn't stolen it. Oh, it was destroyed. We couldn't sell it. But yeah, that's actually more common than you think. To just hand something to the baby and let them drool all over it the whole time in their door and then they hand that drool soaked thing to a stranger well i'm more thinking about where was that thing before it went in a baby's mouth that too but people are fucking stupid i watched i watched girls at the sephora just grab an eyeliner tester and go for the water line and i'm like do you want your eyeball to rot out of because that's how you get like I don't even know if you can get hepatitis in your eyeball, but you're going to find out. People are stupid and gross. I mean, Amazon is taking over everything on the one hand, but on the other hand. Humans. And I say that and in like a week we're gonna have a story where somebody somebody fucking Amazon is putting shit up their ass before they send it. I mean, would we be surprised? 